This is one of the most incredible human achievements I have ever seen. How much are you like, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life? Um, it's a one. <laughs> Don't care. No, it, it's no, it's cool. It's definitely cool. I love stars. I'm a sucker for stars. Do you know how big that thing is? Mm -mm, how big? It's it? bigger than most skyscrapers. Wow. That thing, it is the biggest flying object ever in human history. Wow. And they got it to hover. To hover. Drew, we are actually going to be a multiplanetary species. There are actually going to be people that live on Mars. There are going to be children born on Mars. They won't know Earth. Earth will be like, they've heard stories, they've seen pictures, all of that. They've played one of the video games that I make that's like a Earth simulator. They're going to love it. It's going to be really fun. But they will have never actually been to Earth. That's been going to happen. Now, that's going to happen in our lifetime if you keep your diet right. <laughs> so this is called Starship. They've blown it up before. But this time it actually went up. Now they landed it in the ocean. And if anybody in chat knows why they landed it in the ocean, do tell. But they landed it back in the ocean instead of catching it with chopsticks. And that I don't know why. <laughs> it may just be, we're not going to bother building that stuff until we know it works. Mm -hmm. I just cannot believe humans have been able to do this. I didn't know it was as big as a skyscraper. So that's it's so inspiring. Yeah. Oh my God. They built what they call the world's most high-tech bakery. So they bake the heat shields in their own facility. What Elon is doing, I am so sad that people uh, look at his politics, like please, no matter what side of the aisle that you're on, look past his politics. What he is showing that human beings can do is so incredible, man. Because look, he's able to aggregate these people. I am well aware that Elon is not there with a hammer or a 3D printer making these things, but without Elon, you never would have gotten this. I feel like we're gonna end up getting space Minecraft versus multiplanetary species, meaning we're going to get these rockets are going to go to a different asteroid, mine a bunch of stuff, bring resources back, but we're never actually going to get people outside and do all these other things. Wow. What a <laughs> fascinating bundle of things to put on the table. Please, I beg of you to remember money is awesome. Why is money awesome? Money is awesome because it is what's known as proof of work. So as a species, we realized Okay, wait a second. I have to exist right across time. So during that time, I need to make sure that I survive. And one of the reasons that cultures that had winters ended up just beating cultures that don't is when you have a winter, you're like, I need to plan ahead. This is why reason number 462, why Minecraft is the greatest game of all time. A simple mechanic known as darkness controls danger. It is utterly brilliant. You very quickly learn I have to plan ahead for the night. So humans realized not only is darkness dangerous, big animals are dangerous, weather exposure is dangerous, and we live in this weird cycle. And so every so often it gets excruciatingly cold and food becomes hard to find. And so you start having to plan for that. And mm -hmm. so then you go, okay, with my time right now, I can jerk off, flirt with that chick, joke around with my boys, or plan for the future. The quote unquote rich people are the ones that said, no, I'm gonna plan ahead. I'm gonna put all my time into planning ahead, map a better path, set a better trap, whatever, to get those resources. Mm -hmm. So when I hear you say, this is space is gonna be like the Minecraft version and it's just gonna be a cash grab, I'm like, yes, because we are hardwired to want to turn our time into resources. Now, if somebody lets it become pathological and they want to pursue the acquisition of resources and they have no sense of self, they don't connect with other people. They have no meaning and purpose. I get it. It, mm -hmm. it ends up, it's a very sad existence. And this is why a billionaire can accumulate all that money only to kill themselves. So space needs to be a quote unquote cash grab. It's the thing that will incentivize people to go do it because right now on earth, they have to say, I need to have something to show for my time. And so getting into space has to be a cash grab because that's return on time. We'll never get to space if there's no cash grab. In fact, the brilliance of Elon is he's been able to cash grab every step of the way. He's gone, I'm gonna launch more satellites, which is just a cash grab for somebody, right? And so I'm gonna build this thing. I'm gonna make launching satellites cheaper, cash grab, cash grab for people trying to do something. And then I'm gonna leverage that to build this other thing. This is why, by the way, I do Impact Theory University. I will often get asked by my students who understand the math doesn't make sense for why I do Impact Theory University because the company is already making plenty of money. 
So, and I already have ridiculous amounts of money. So it's like, why am I doing Impact Theory University? Exactly. I do it for two reasons. One, entrepreneurs solve all the problems and generate all the tax revenue. So teaching people how to be entrepreneurs is very, very smart. And then two, my video game is a black hole of investment. Video games are excruciatingly expensive. So my trade with myself is I will go do this thing, which I think is very good for the world anyway, but it also allows me to fund my game. So I don't need my game to be successful. I can just keep developing and developing and developing and developing and developing until I fucking figure this out. I probably will eventually stop teaching entrepreneurs, but it is how I have a constant fuel source for the game. I just want people to have the right relationship to money. Cash grabs are good unless you're Disney and it's Tron. Haven't seen it, but heard it's terrible. <laughs> heard it's terrible. And it's also a cash grab.